Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today the road brings me to Chesterfield, South Carolina. As we continue our series of small towns across South Carolina, Chesterfield is a county seat of Chesterfield County and we are going to explore this little small town of Chesterfield and we'll get started right after this station. Identification. Chesterville County's first courthouse was built here soon after the country was established in 1785. The second courthouse on this spot was built between 1825 and 1829 from plans by the architect Robert Mills, burned by Union troops under William T. Sherman in 1865. This current structure was built around 1884 and was used as a courthouse until 1978. This two-story brick building was constructed in 1894 to house the Chesterfield County Jail, replace the older facility described as unsafe and prone to escape. This T-shaped building included separate sections for male and female prisoners. This house is the oldest in Chesterfield. It was built in 1798 for John Craig, a veteran of the American Revolutionary War. He was a merchant and a miller, and a county official. Craig's father, Hugh, moved his family from Ireland to Virginia in 1760. John and his older brother, Alexander, came to South Carolina soon after the war and helped organize the Chesterfield District, later to become Chesterfield County. Craig was also the clerk of the Court of Common Pleas and a commissioner of locations. The post office was built between 1937 in 1938 as part of Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal. Nowadays there is a mixture of buildings that were built in the early 1900s. Not as many as from the 1800s. Austin Craig Laney House began around 1858 for Aaron Austin. This house remained unfinished until after the war. In 1875, St. Paul trustees acquired a quarter acre at this site where they built a wood frame church building. Around 1905, Reverend J.J. Stevenson oversaw the construction of the brick Gothic revival church that stands here today. St. Paul was historically part of the Methodist Episcopal ME Church. The Mount Tabor Methodist Church dates to the early days of emancipation, but according to local tradition, a group of freed people met here under a brush arbor before the first church was built in 1868. This present church dates to 1878 and was built by members of the congregation. The frame building features an off-center tower with a pyramidical roof. The original bell has been removed, but still remains here on the church grounds. This is the original lane that led in front of the church. And the bell was in that tower. Directly behind the church is now highway number nine. But, before it was number nine, it was a railroad there. The Carolina Hotel was constructed around 1905. This two-story building originally housed the Carolina Hotel. Then made of exposed brick, the hotel was likely built by owners James Streeter and John Hurst, who hoped to serve passengers on the nearby Chesterfield and Lancaster Railroad. The building also served as a commercial mall and is believed to have housed a general store, a bank, a market, and in the 1920s, an automobile dealership located 
on the first floor. Now, I believe this building is now a home, but at one time, I do believe this was a cotton exchange, and wagons could pull right under that carport and weigh their load, and the teller working inside that little jut out place set so she could read the scales. Now, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but this is possibly what is left of the old depot here in Chesterfield. This building is in the general vicinity of where the railroad was, so uh, it's highly possible if it wasn't the depot, perhaps maybe a warehouse for the rail line. There are a lot of old buildings in downtown Chesterfield. There is the Bank of Chesterfield. 1908 is now a restaurant that is called The Bank. Last time I had dinner there, I will have to say, it was very tasty. There is a monument on the courthouse grounds in Chesterfield. First session meeting, Chesterfield Courthouse, November the 19th. 1860. Now I think Abbeville, South Carolina will probably argue with you that they were the first. Hmm. Well that is going to be a wrap for our trip to Chesterfield, South Carolina. Cute little town. Lots of history here. I hope you've enjoyed our visit. If you did, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends and remember there are more South Carolina small towns to come. But until next time, y'all have a good day.